everyone! Welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. I recently did a video on tough times and I talked about some of my tough times and at the beginning of that I said that I don't normally talk about it because I don't want it to define me and I found that there was some very interesting comments to that statement and I wanted to talk more about what we let define us. I am in a club with a woman where we have to introduce ourselves on a fairly regular basis and when I first met her, she introduced herself as being a widow. A couple of years into this, she changed her introduction where she started saying other things about herself and then she mentioned that her husband had passed and how long it had been. Now, she doesn't mention that she's a widow. She will bring it up later in conversation, but it's not part of her initial introduction. So I talked to her about that and I said, it's very interesting to see your journey and she says, it was conscious. I decided I did not want to define myself by being a widow. And I thought that was so smart of her. And that's how I feel about all the things that I've gone through. J.K. Rowling had a very interesting saying, something to the effect of there's an expiry date on blaming your parents for steering you in the wrong direction the minute that you're able to take the wheel. And I think that's so true. I wouldn't want to be an 80-year-old blaming my parents for what happened. I don't want to be defined by the bad things in life. This doesn't mean that they didn't happen. This doesn't mean that I don't deal with them. This doesn't mean that I won't talk about them occasionally. But when I say define myself, I think about how do I want others to describe me. And if I am constantly talking about the negative things in my life, that's going to be how others perceive me and what's going to define me. I don't want that to be what others think of when they think of me. I want them to think of somebody who's positive, who's happy, who's full of energy, who, yeah, I've had some bad things happen. That's life. We've all had bad things happen. And you deal with it as best you can, and you move past it, and you try to focus on the good things. So I'd like to challenge you today to really think about how you want to define yourself. I hope that you have a fabulous day, and I hope this was helpful. Sorry for the chirping, I have a nest right above me and Mama doesn't like it when I come out here to film, so I'm going to go back in the house. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.